Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to be editing the body mass index calculator. So if we look at the application that we already made, what is wrong with it? Or is it perfect? Um, and we need nothing different about it. Well, a couple of things. Number one is really for the um, body mass index, I just need the one decimal point. I don't need all of these decimal points. So it kind of makes it a little bit annoying to read. So that's the first thing. So let's, that's a pretty easy fix. So where should I make that rounding? So just round it off to the first decimal. You know, I could do it up here or I could just do it in the, the function in and of itself. And I think that's probably what I'll do. So what I'll probably say is, um, um, it, but by the way, it's going to be a double then, right? We know it's going to be double. I'm going to say double um, BMI unrounded equals this, okay? And then I'm going to say return BMI unrounded times 10 round that number divided by 10. Okay, let's try that. So basically what I'm going to do is 20.98, multiply it by 10, 209.8, round that so it would um, it would be 210 because rounding it and divided by 10 again, so it would be 21.0. You see that? So um, this is just, there's a number of ways of rounding to certain decimal points. I haven't found anything easier than this. There's um, there's no actual method that I know of that'll just do it in one vowel swoop, okay? So let's try this. So height is 77, weight is 177, and it's 21.0. That makes it a little bit easier to read, okay? So that's number one. What other issues are there? Oh, by the way, since we're making some fixes here. Let's make it 0.2. We're moving up in the world, okay? And what else is wrong? Well, here I see there's an issue right here. Um, this is in pounds, right? But how do you know this is in pounds and not centimeters and kilograms? Well, we could put this in here. Height, inches, and weight in pounds. Excellent. Perfect. Now we're perfect, right? Well, okay. Um, if you don't live in the United States, which is the overwhelming majority of the people on the planet, this doesn't really make much sense because you're more used to centimeters and kilograms um, in terms of height and weight. But I could just t simply tell you, well, you're going to have to do those conversions yourself and then plug it in. Yeah, but that's not the best then, right? It's not, you might want to add that feature into your application. So how could I do this? There's several ways that I can think of. Um, there is a, I'm going to probably start with a drop box. So there's a, a selected, a drop box right here, and you select either centimeters or inches. All right, so how would I do that? Oh, by the way, since I'm adding a feature, by the way, you don't really need, I'm going to point, point one, okay? <laughs> you don't really need to do this. I'm just doing it because I got nothing better to do, okay? So um, back in the index, I want it right here. I don't, I want it on the same line and um, as the height. And I'll say um, select ID equals height unit. Okay, so it's a unit, which unit of heights? And then I'm going to say option value equals inches and inches option. And there's another option value equals centimeters right centimeters and then we'll do slash select okay so right here it'll be a select unit 
with these options themselves. So I hope you um, are familiar with this particular um, element itself. When you have select, you have the ID, but the value is down here. Let's run it and see what it looks like. So it's a drop down box. You could choose, choose either one. The default is the first one inches itself. Okay. Now this in between the two tags is what we actually see right here. So if I change that, so I'll say finches, inches, changes to finches. Okay. So the value is not different. It's the, what you actually see. It's the, um, uh, um, label itself. This is a little bit backwards compared to like a button element. Okay, so the value is what you actually see here, right? So that's not what you see here. The ID is up here. So so this is just kind of the text inside. The value actually is more of the um, value that you will obtain later. We'll go into more detail. Okay. So what, let me, let me back up here. Let me make functions to convert what I'm going to do. Cause I don't want to touch my equation cause I'm too lazy. What I'm going to do is have the default inches and it, oh, that's finches. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm going to have the default in inches, but if somebody changes it to Senate, cause I'm American and I'm kind of ethnocentric here. Okay. So, um, I'll change it. If you change it to centimeters, I'll convert it in the back two inches and plug it into the same exact equation. Okay. I could do it either way. I could have changed the equation and have the default centimeters makes no real big difference one way or the other. By the way, I should actually remove that in that case because it'll make it a little more confusing. Otherwise, well, we're not going to leave, we're, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave the pounds alone because we're not going to do that just yet. So that one is pounds height. You could do either one centimeters or inches. Okay. So new function is going to be centimeters to inches, right? So I'm going to say introduce a num centimeters. That's the parameter. And I'm going to say return centimeters divided by 2.54. So if I, you give me centimeters, I'll give you the inches in return. All right. So we go back up here. BMI two string. Where do we put the logic in this? We can't really put it out here because if we put it in the logic out here, it's not going to activate when you hit the submit button, right? So you have to have it within here. Now, just for the record, there's a number of ways to do something like this. And this isn't always the best way. First time I do it isn't always going to be the best way. We can always clean it up a little bit later when we find ways. And as time goes by, I'm sure we'll mature and to the point where it'll, we'll instinctively know, hey, I know this is how to do approach this type of problem. Okay, so just this is not, again, best practices. Rather, this is just how do we do it. We're learning the just basic concepts. So I have, once you click on there, if it's centimeters, so I'm going to have to do something like um, select element because I need to turn this element into an object, right, to, in order to manipulate it. So I'm going to say height unit equals query selector height unit because that was the ID. I always constantly have to check back. Height unit. There we go. Okay, good. So height unit. So I'm going to say here, if height unit dot value equals centimeters, then, um, you know, because we have a different value right here, what I'm probably going to have to say is um, num height true equals as a default height dot value as number. 
Okay, so that's what I'll do. There may be an easier way to do that. I'll figure that out a little bit later, but for right now, variable equals this one. Okay, so it, okay, so height true. So I'm going to put height true right here. If height true is just going to be height value as number, so it'll be default is inches. If height unit dot value, so if this, the value of this is cm, then height true is going to equal um, centimeters to inches height dot value. Okay, so this is what the true height, whether it's inches or centimeters. Default, it's going to be inches. If you click on submit, and this is on inches, it's going to read it as if it was inches. However, if the um, it's centimeters, the height unit, which is this, centimeters, then height true, the true height, is going to equal centimeters converted to inches. So if you're introducing centimeters, it's going to convert to centimeters to inches, and it's going to actually put that inside here as well. Okay, I hope that works. Um, I'm getting an error here. What's that? H height string cannot be, oh, value as, as number. Okay, there we go. Let's try that, okay? So my height, 77, weight, 177, and submit. I get the same thing. What if I convert it to centimeters? Aha, uh -huh. so I'm going to be, you know, honestly, I don't know the conversion off the top of my head. So I'm 170 centimeters. That is better. Um, I'm going to cheat here a little bit, okay? So I could do this in the program, but but um, so one, so 77 inches times 2.54, 195. So 195, so it'll get me close to 1.58 because you it's a num, so you could put a double in there as well. So it'll give me 21.0, okay? So the calculation is correct. So 77 inches, 195.58 inches, I'm mean centimeters, equals 77 inches. So that's correct. When we convert to inches, put 77 there, and it's the same body mass index, okay? You add another, it changes, you change it to centimeters, and it changes there as well, okay? So I hope that was straightforward. What we learned was the select element and how to use the select element right here. Um, and there are other ways in which we can um, continue to evolve and change this application. Let's keep going, okay? Thank you.